just worship him. He is worthy to be praised. Give all the glory, honor, adoration unto God. Call him the name that you know him to be. Do you not know him to be the King of glory? The Lord of lords, the King of kings, the I am that I am, the ancient of days, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Just exalt the King of kings. Bless him for another opportunity to be in his presence, even to worship him, even to be blessed in his presence. We are still looking at the topic, the wonders of hallelujah. Today, by the special grace of God, we are looking at the wonders of hallelujah. If your Bible is with you, join me in Revelation chapter 19, verse 1. Revelation chapter 19, verse 1. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, hallelujah salvation and glory and honor and power unto the lord our god now is somebody reading with me after these things i heard a great voice of many people in heaven saying hallelujah salvation and glory and honor and power unto the lord our god can we take it one more time together revelation 19 1. after these things i heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying hallelujah salvation and glory and honor and power unto the lord our god now let's start from that this that place this evening if you decide to close your mouth and it says you will not shout hallelujah again i have bad news for you you know why because in heaven there is already a group of people day and night saying hallelujah so it will actually profit you to join the category of those who are already shouting hallelujah i remember last week teaching we focused primarily on hallelujah to mean praises and what happens when we praise God by calling his name. This evening, by the grace of God, we are looking at hallelujah as a song of victory. And I remember many times in this church when I sing our hallelujah chant, I always say the first hallelujah is to praise God. The second hallelujah is to harass the devil. The third round of hallelujah is to what? It's for those who are testifiers hallelujah is also a song of victory now that is why that revelation revelation chapter 19 verse 1 look at it in this sense says, after these things i had a great voice of much people in heaven and they were saying hallelujah salvation and glory and honor and power unto the lord our god you know when some things happen and suddenly you don't expect it something just happened that makes you to bow in hall and makes you something that is awesome something that you don't expect you are likely to say ah and also it also follows conversely that also when you are trusting god for something and that thing finally gets to you what would you do you will be happy you want to sing songs of victory i'm praying for somebody at the end of this month your songs of victory will be unlimited in jesus name and i believe we need to practice more of shouting hallelujah as it is one word that confirms our victory over the devil and the triumph work of our salvation jesus christ then this song we sing when we're still small hallelujah anyhow don't let the devil weigh you down if that old man comes your way lift your hands and praise the lord hallelujah anyhow. praise the lord so we should practice the sound of shouting of hallelujah every time i think i've told us in this church 
Anytime you are happy, the enemy is sad. And anytime you are sad, the devil is happy. And one of the ways you can quickly tell the devil that I'm serving a living God. I'm serving a living God. One of the best ways to do this is to what? Just shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let me tell you something. If you are in any situation, you cannot think of anything else again. Please, don't forget hallelujah. If you can shout hallelujah, you are even building up your faith. So let us quickly define again what hallelujah means. Hallelujah is an exclamation of worship or a call to praise translated from true Hebrew word meaning praise ye the Lord. And if you go to the book of Psalm, many times you have the word praise ye the Lord. That word translated praise ye the Lord most of the times is actually the word hallelujah. And there is no way you cannot praise God this year. There is no way that you will not praise God this year because God himself will surprise you. You yourself will say, God, I praise your name. So some Bible versions render the phrase praise the Lord as meaning hallelujah. Now the Greek form of the word of hallelujah is also hallelujah as spelled in the manual you are looking. Now I don't know if you have been struck by something that catches your attention and you were short of words. Something that you did not expect suddenly comes to you. You are short of words. You are likely to say, ha. Ah. Now, don't say ha ah, again. What you should do is what? Shout hallelujah. <laughs> it does not matter what it looks like now. At the end of the day, it will turn out to your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. While hallelujah is associated with praises, it also means our dependence on God and it's also a sign of victory. Anytime you are feeling downcast, anytime that things are not working the way you expect it, anytime you are feeling discouraged, what is the word that should be in your mouth? Hallelujah. Because hallelujah also means my God reigns. Maybe you don't, you are trusting God for something that has not come to pass. Why don't you just shout hallelujah? I'm praying and I want to encourage you this month, before the end of this month, find time to wake up in the night to shout hallelujah. Why wake up time in the midnight? It's a good time to shout hallelujah because that time is a time to proclaim your victory over the forces of darkness. While everybody's asleep, I want to just encourage somebody this evening. Just do it. This month that we are looking at the wonders of hallelujah to claim our victory in Christ Jesus. Let me tell you something you can do. Between the hours of 12 o'clock, between the hours of 12 a.m. in the morning to 6 a.m., find quality time to just shout hallelujah. Just mention hallelujah as many times as possible. I even want to encourage you, make sure that by the time this month finishes, on the 28th of February, shout at least 1,000 hallelujah. So, if your quota of hallelujah have not been filled up for this week, you can shout hallelujah now. You are shouting one. Is that how you feel the quarter of 1,000? It's a victory song. Victoria Student, how do you hear? Are you shouting hallelujah? You can do better than that. It's a shout of victory. It's a shout of victory. Let me even encourage somebody. Amen. Let me tell you, the digging deep this month is a practical teaching. When we say wonders of hallelujah, the best thing you can do is to just shout hallelujah. And when you shout this hallelujah, you shyly it smiling because your victory is around the corner. Now let me even ask you, how many people are going to dance the dance of victory this morning? Can you shout hallelujah if you are one of them? Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. Let's read Revelation 19 verse 1. After these things, I had a voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. Verse 2, for true and righteous are his judgments. For he has judged the great woe which corrupt the heart, where it are fornication, and has avenged the blood of his servant at her hand. And again they said, Hallelujah, and as smoke rose up forever and ever. Verse 4, and the four and the twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen hallelujah are you still with me 
and a voice came out of the throne saying praise our god all ye his servants and ye that fear him both small and great and i heard a voice as the voice of a great multitude and the voice of many waters and as the voice of the mighty thunder saying hallelujah for the lord god omnipotent reigns Hallelujah for the Lord God who omnipotent reigns. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Are you singing Hallelujah? Hallelujah for the Lord God who omnipotent reigns. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Verse seven. He now said, "Let us be glad and rejoice." and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamp is come and his wife are made herself ready and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen clean and white for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints now why we are starting with revelation this month is because one of the things we will end our life with is hallelujah so if you are shy of shouting hallelujah i don't know where you want to end your own life at least one thing i am sure of i don't know many things about hellfire but at least i can bet there is no hallelujah in hellfire hallelujah. it is only in heaven that we find hallelujah so if you are going to heaven can you shout hallelujah now the bible says revelation 19 1 it says note the bible says after these things what are these things the previous chapters explain the turmoil that was on the earth prior to the shout of hallelujah now before the bible said after these things some things must have happened now you two look into your life whatever is happening now there is an end point on it because after this time you are going to shout hallelujah now i hope you know that revelation is a revealing of what god has planned for us in the future now that tells me something if you shout hallelujah now that means in your future you will be shouting hallelujah now if you are shouting hallelujah now which is the sound of victory it means that your victory is sure now i'm going to give you several reasons why you are going to shout hallelujah and i want you to be shouting hallelujah every time i give you that reason because somebody is about to be victorious in the name of jesus now the devil may appear to be winning the battle now it may appear that the devil is winning the battle but as you are shouting this hallelujah your victory is sure in the name of jesus now revelation chapter 16 because we need to backtrack a little bit revelation chapter 18 let's start from 18 so that you know one of those things that was happening before they started shouting hallelujah after all these things, I saw an unreal angel come down from heaven with great authority, and the earth grew bright with his splendor. He gave a mighty shout. Babylon the great is falling. It's falling because she has become a den of demons, a haunt of devils, and every kind of evil spirit. For all the nations have drunk the fatal wine of her intense morality. The rulers of the heart have enjoyed themselves with her and business themselves throughout the world have gone range from all a luxurious living. Then I heard another voice calling from heaven come away from her and my people do not take part in her sins or you will be punished with her for her sins as pulled as I am as heaven and God is ready to judge her for her crimes I remember when the Lord told us that this month is the month of the wonders of hallelujah I was even beginning to imagine in myself can it be possible that we we'll just be shouting hallelujah continuously continuously but the Holy Spirit started ministering to me and he said after these things for those that will shout hallelujah now, what you will be doing will be celebration dance in the name of Jesus. So what are the reasons why you can shout hallelujah? You can shout hallelujah because the destiny of the devil is determined already. The destination of the devil is determined already. Now, if you don't shout hallelujah, that means you are cooperating with the devil because you are saying you don't know his head let me tell you the enemy that is afflicting your life the bible says their end has been predetermined already are you with me in the bible exodus chapter 28 verse 16 to 19 exodus 28 16 to 19 through your widespread trade you were filled with violence you sin so i drove you in disgrace from the mount of god and i expelled you the devil himself has been expelled from heaven now if you read the last verse in verse 19 you have become terrified and you will be no more check your bible 
The Bible says the devil will be no more in your life. It may look as if he's winning the battle now, but God is saying he will be no more. Should you, should you not shout hallelujah because of that? Should you not shout hallelujah because the devil will be no more? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The destination of the devil has been determined as far back as Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. He says, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and us. It will crush your head and you will strike his head. When did that one happen? It happened at the Mount of Calvary. Can somebody shout hallelujah to that? He can shout the name of Jesus now and that name will carry power because why? The enemy's destination has been determined. You know, one of the easiest battles to fight is the battle that involves the devil. Why? You know that the devil's end point is destruction. I'm praying for you. Whatever has been afflicting your life, with this shout of hallelujah, you are silencing it in Jesus' name. In case you don't know it, let me give you another reason why you should shout hallelujah. Revelation chapter 20 verse 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and sulfur, which are also the priest and the false prophet. They shall be tormented day and night forever. If it is the devil you are thinking it is your problem, the God, God is saying the end point of the enemy is determined. You just need to shout hallelujah now because the devil's end has been determined in the name of Jesus. Number two, another reason why you should shout hallelujah is because you have been redeemed by his blood. So shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now let me tell you why you have been redeemed by the blood. Psalm 107 said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy on the earth forever. Now how many redeemed of the Lord are in the house? Psalm 107 verse 2 says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. What should you say? Is somebody shouting hallelujah now? You don't understand. Let me say, I've told you, I said, anytime you see all give thanks unto the Lord, it's the same thing as saying, let somebody shout hallelujah. And the Bible says, why should you shout hallelujah? I said, for his good, for his mercy endure it forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Who he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy? Now that word is in the past tense. It means that whatever you are going through now is just for business sake. Because at the end of the day, you have been redeemed already in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go on time because of our time. Because of our time. Titus chapter 2 verse 14. He says, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good work. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Another reason why you should shout hallelujah is because you are seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places. So shout hallelujah. Now, if you are seated with Christ in heavenly places, you don't need to stand again. Because when you are seated on the throne with God, you just need to command. And as you are commanding and shouting hallelujah, your miracles is coming in the name of Jesus. Two people that believe it, receive it in the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6, he said, and has raised up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. How many people are seated in heavenly places this evening? I can't count them. I thought you would shout hallelujah if you are with us. Praise the Lord. Another reason why you should shout hallelujah is you are God's beloved and apple of his eyes. So shout hallelujah. Now, I thought that hallelujah should even be better because God is saying you are special to me. God is saying you are special to me. You know, I've been giving this example since the beginning of the month. If good Lord says come and visit him, it's a good thing. If good Lord comes and visits you, that means you are important. Amen. If you are doing like a burial ceremony of your father who is 150 years old, and good Lord decides to come on that day, or you are doing marriage, or you are doing freedom, and good Lord now says he comes as an invited visitor. What does that tell us? He tells you that you are important to good luck. Amen. Now let me even give you this example. You know, it when um, um, Nelson Mandela died. So many people flee from different countries, president, all the while they came to South Africa. Some people that have never been in South Africa before went there to go and pay and commiserate with them. What are they doing? They are associating themselves with. No, South Africa now became like a bride for that period of time. I am telling you, because you are a child of God. And that's why you should shout serious hallelujah. 
you are seated with Christ in heavenly places. It means physically you may be living in the low order, but you are seated in heavenly places. You don't understand it. Physically you may be sitting in the low order, you may be living in the low order, but you are seated in high. So if the devil is coming to you, what should you do? You just say, shout hallelujah. You are the apple of God's eyes. And that is why the app can somebody do an example try to put your hand into your eyes what will happen automatically your eyes will close god is saying i cannot allow evil to touch you even the bible said not one of your air can fall into the ground except god he never knows about it it means that what you are going through now is not news to god it means what you are passing through now it is not news to god because why he's coming to your rescue so shout hallelujah Another reason why you should shout hallelujah. You are born an overcomer since you gave your life to Christ Jesus. How do I know? Romans chapter 8 verse 31 it says, What shall we say? say? Romans 8 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Imagine that you are a general in the army and a policeman stop you and he begins to ask for your particulars and after some time now say who are you and you're a general in the nigerian army now tell me how would you answer that person you just be shaking your head and say oh this person you don't know who i am bro. i am telling you the devil doesn't know who you are even your friends don't know who you are because what you are made in the image of god you are so special to god you are an overcomer simply because you are a child of god can you shout a better hallelujah <laughs> who shall lay anything to the charge of god select it is God that justifies. Are you still with me? Romans chapter 8. Now, don't sleep now because you want to shout hallelujah and round up. Shout hallelujah now. It doesn't matter what you are going through now. What matters is at the end of the day, you are a winner. How many of you like football very well? You know that sometimes I play some qualifying matches. When you are playing some qualifying matches, at the beginning, if you win so well your first round of qualifying matches, the last game you play after that doesn't really matter again. Whether you play it well, whether you don't play it well, you have already qualified. I'm bringing good news to somebody. Whether the devil likes it or not, whether you even like it or not, whether it looks so or it doesn't look so, you are going to end up victorious in the name of Jesus. That amen is not sharp. You will end up victorious in the name of Jesus. Why is it going to be like that? Because you are more than conquerors. The Bible didn't say until you fight, you will become a conqueror. The Bible didn't say until you pray, you will become a conqueror. You know, one day God opened my eyes. I like prayers. And I hope you understand that even in this church, we devote much time to serious prayer. But let me tell you something that gladdens my mind. It is not my prayers that makes God to answer me. I know even before I have prayed, God has answered me. You know, it's a revelation. It's a revelation. And if you carry such an attitude to prayer, that is why anytime we have time to pray in this church, don't, have you not observed? We praise God more than we thank God. Why? Because we know that even before we start praying at all, our prayers have been answered. Can you shout hallelujah? Somebody is looking at me, doesn't have to. Can you shout hallelujah? Please be persuaded. Romans chapter 8 verse 28, it says, For I am persuaded now i like paul in that word he said it is me i am persuaded i don't know about you i am shouting hallelujah because i am persuaded it means i am convinced it means i am sure it is me i am certain it means there is nothing like maybe or maybe not what does the bible say i am persuaded that neither death nor life you know some people say oh until so 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 person comes alive i will not get my blessing no the Bible says, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. <laughs> one of the reasons you shout a better hallelujah now is in 1 John chapter 5, verse 1. That brother is shouting hallelujah, you are testifying with him. First John chapter 5, verse 4. Whosoever is born of God, overcome the world. Have you been born of God? If you are born again, you are little fight, you should fight. It says it's something I've observed from my daddy in the Lord that the Jew he spent less time rebuking the devil. He spent less time harassing the devil. 
what it does more is just shout hallelujah why because we have said whosoever is born of god has overcome the world whatever you are going through now can you shout three hallelujah back to back hallelujah 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 another reason why you should shout hallelujah you have answers to your prayer already so shout hallelujah count those people that have answers to their prayers that one shouting hallelujah how do i know first john chapter 5 verse 14 he says this is the confidence that we have in it i like that song i have confidence in you jesus i have come today is not the time to sing he says this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything can you imagine that's an open check he says if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us now let me just explain what that means if you have a phone and if good luck is a phone call away from you you know that some people if you want to call good luck they have to call somebody that will never be somebody that will give it to good luck but there are some people they have the direct line to good luck if they flash him he will call back let me tell you something you have outline to the god of god to the heaven to the god of heaven to the hell shadow to the one that does not change is it not a privilege that you can call god anytime guess what you can call him in the morning in the afternoon you can call him you can even call him in the toilet and if you are shouting hallelujah you are calling god already last but not the least one of the reasons why you should shout hallelujah when you look at my son sometimes you say oh my son looks like me if you look at your daughter i say your daughter looks like me let me give you good news you look like jesus i thought you would shout and you look like jesus you look like jesus it means you know in the olden days the oyo empire they have wonderful tribal marks you know why they do it so that they can identify one another do you know that the tribal marks of jesus is on you do you know the tribal marks of jesus is on you you should not shout a better hallelujah. The tribal mass is on you. When death sees you, he has to run away. Shout hallelujah. Because the Bible said, even when I said the blood, I will pass over you. You are created in God's image. You are joint ears with Christ. So if you want to shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah now. Let's stop there. We are just looking at these seven reasons why we should shout hallelujah. But this evening, I want us to shout hallelujah 21 times. We can teach this topic many times in different ways, but we'll be doing an injustice to ourselves if we do not shout hallelujah.